this video, we will learn how to configure tab control pages programmatically. Follow these steps to configure a tab control page programmatically. Right click a tab of a tab control. Select create property node and then pages from the shortcut menu. LabVIEW creates an implicitly linked property node on the block diagram for the property we selected. Add the index array function to the block diagram. Wire the pages out of the property node to the n-dimensional array input of the array index function. Right click the index input of the index array function and select create constant from the shortcut menu to create a numeric constant. Type the index of the page we want to configure and press the enter key. The index corresponds to the order of the pages as they appear on the control tab control in the range of 0 to n minus 1 where n is the number of pages on the tab control. For example, type 0 to configure the first page of the tab control. We can use the positioning tool to resize the index array function if so required. We can use the wiring tool to right click an element output of the index array function and select create property for page class and a property from the shortcut menu. Add the property node to the block diagram and wire the element input of the index array function to the reference input of the property node we created in the previous step. Configure the property node if necessary. So in this example, we are going to allow multiple colors and then change the color from this. Let's change it to foreground color after we obtain a reference to a tab control page we also can configure a control within a tab control page programmatically using the controls on page property So let's get a reference to controls on this page and then let's uh, get the index of the let's say uh, 
and then change the let's say disable property of that control but first let's place a control here Let's set the property to display uh, disabled and grid out. Let's run the code. The first control index is selected. We run the code and the first control is disabled. Let's disable the second control also. Run the code. Let's enable the first control. And the second control 